One man game. It's showtime, folks! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I'm here once again to talk wrestling, but first before I get into that, I'd like to thank all my subscribers. Thank you for subscribing to the page, sharing the page, liking the videos, whatever you do. I fully appreciate it. Also, I'd like to invite all you guys to join me on, on my road to 100,000 subscribers. I mean, look, I'm just over 2,000 at the moment, but it's a big dream, but I'm going for it. Continue to share this page. Help me out. I'm trying to get to 100,000. Next up, i like to say that this week, I will not be doing any videos. I'll be on vacation for the whole week, but do not unsubscribe because I will be back strong uh, the following week with all the videos in the wrestling. I'll be talking about Raw, all of that. So let's get on into this. Bray Wyatt, uh, there was a, re a report that came out, and uh, Bray Wyatt is reportedly upset with WWE officials over the move to Monday Night Raw and um, over over recent booking. Now, it, it was reported that the the move to Monday Night Raw was very uh, last second uh, ish. It was a last second type of deal. And that with the move to Raw, it takes him out of a program with Randy Orton that he had going for the WWE title. And now Bray Wyatt is upset with them. And the first thing I have to say to that is, well, welcome to the party, Bray Wyatt. I've been upset with the way they've been booking you for years now. You're late to the party. And I mean... I think I, I've been upset with that, and, and if I'm not mistaken, I, I even did a YouTube video on that. I was so ticked off about it. So, welcome to the party, Bray Wyatt. But, now with the situation at hand, um, it's understandable. I mean, if this report is true, it's understandable that he'd be upset because, look, he had a, he, he was treated well on SmackDown, and even if in my video of the two biggest winners and losers from the WWE Superstar Shakeup, I had Bray Wyatt as one of my losers because of, of this very reason. He's moving to Raw, and I mean, one of the things also that came into this report, they said that ultimately WWE keeps bouncing him from thing to thing, thing which has caused Bray to become upset and vocal backstage. Now, I mean, look, him moving to Raw is not the greatest thing in the world. I'm not looking forward to it. And I think it's gonna have a tough time. Just like I said, my uh, WWE Superstar Shake Up video, he's gonna have a tough time there. And finally, he's become upset about things. And look, He's going to lounge around on Raw. At best, they're going to have him in this feud with Finn Balor. And, I mean, good luck after that. If he's upset now, I mean, I just hate to see what's going to happen later when he's, you know, being a sacrificial lamb to Brock Lesnar and being a sacrificial lamb to Roman Reigns and then just being a guy that's in big spots only to lose. I mean, good luck with that. So... I mean, I wish Bray Wyatt the best, and this goes, like I said, this goes back years to when Bray Wyatt was on fire. At the time, I think it was WrestleMania 30? Yeah, it was WrestleMania 30, we was facing John Cena. I said that, look, Bray Wyatt needs to go over here, and he lost that. He lost momentum. He lost momentum against The Undertaker. He, um got in a segment with The Rock where he got beat down there and this past WrestleMania he lost huge momentum after he had such a big win in that Elimination Chamber match. It was such a phenomenal moment that he won that and I thought they were actually going somewhere with him. But 
it turns out that that him and Randy Orton just stunk up the joint at WrestleMania and they had that weird match with those weird images. Ugh, that just makes me shake every time I think about it. But he lost in a horrible match and the result was just like out of left field. Like why would they have Randy Orton win there? But I mean, it's been like that. This is, this is Bray Wyatt's entire career. This is his story in WWE that the creative has jerked him around. And him moving to Raw, look, I'm not expecting a whole lot from it. I wish him the best, but this is only this is this is only the beginning of the frustration. So we'll see how long Bray Wyatt sticks it out on Raw. And we'll see how this all would turn out. I will be keeping a close eye on it.